Hey, good morning everyone. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. A little bit of a late start here. It's not gonna be a long beach walk. Really windy out here, really breezy. Beautiful morning though, absolutely gorgeous. I just couldn't resist coming out here and checking out the beach. And then I saw an interesting post on Instagram. Our assistant park manager, Mark Nicoletti, actually saw a sea turtle on the beach this morning in the daylight. He got some pictures of a sea turtle nesting this morning and some video. Hopefully I'll be able to share that. Well, Roy's up there. He's up to this morning. Let's say hi to him real quick. I don't know if he's just getting set up or if he's leaving. Pretty breezy out here. Sorry about that. Big ridge developing here in front of me along the beach. You can see the barge out there pumping the sand out. Nice morning out here. We had two, we've got two new sea turtle nests, two successful crawls last night. So that's good news. Looks like Roy is packing up and going home. and say hey to him see how he's doing boy you heading out already hey how you doing oh i'm just getting getting set up oh i thought you were taking off early no i'm taking in Take, taking on not off <laughs> how you been rob all right good to see you yeah i guess um there was a turtle here on the beach this morning. Really? Laying eggs, yeah. No kidding. Yep, I don't know where it was. It must obviously if you didn't see it, it must have been down south. Yeah, I, I was up to the end and back. Mark I, Mark got some pictures of it and video. No was, kidding. Yeah, it was out here while the sun was up. That's a new one. Yeah, that's huh, a first. Huh, so huh. it must be down there somewhere, down to the south. How you been? How's everything going? Oh, okay. I just had a couple minutes to come out here and see what was going on. That's wonderful. Well, what's going on? It's a glorious time. The wind, <laughs> the wind is blowing. Yeah, the wind is picked oh, up. Oh, it feels Boy, great. Keeps those bugs away, the no yeah. see Yeah, and I didn't have to put on any face stuff this morning. It's coming from through the woods. Yeah. And they're still dredging away. Oh, yeah, I see they're pumping away there, as the always. The dredge is way down at the end, right in front of those condos now. Oh, my gosh. I wonder if that's the end of it or what's going to happen then. I don't know, but it's amazing how far they pump that sand. And they haven't moved this down at all, so maybe that's as far as they're going to go. It looks like they're making a big berm coming out. Yeah, I mean, there's like a whole new sandbar forming yeah. out here. Crazy. Firm. We can walk out on that to take a swim with There you go. Pretty soon we'll be able to walk to Mexico. Yeah, how about that? <laughs> well, without getting our feet wet. There you go. <laughs> oh. Yeah. It's a glorious time. So anything now. exciting happened yesterday afternoon? Yeah, yeah, really exciting. We all went for a bunch of good swims. Good plunges? Oh, we had a great time swimming. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. It was a whole group yeah, of so. us, you know. Yeah, the whole gang was there, huh? Yeah, oh, we had a blast. 
I'm gonna let me walk down the beach. I'll be right back. All right. I'm in kind of in a hurry, but I'll touch base with you here. I okay. I see the old the root shell at all. Yeah. I think it got buried. I think it got covered up. It looks like those. Yeah. Stumps kind of collapsed. Yeah, I think it got caught. I hope yeah, so yeah. that it's still there. Because I didn't see any of the roots cut or anything, so must be down in. Well, I'll be right back. All yeah. right. Hang. You'll be all set up when I get back. Oh, I'll be here. All right. Another 25, 30 years. Another 25 or 30 years? Perfect. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> all right. I'll be right back. Just want to see if there's any cool shells out here this morning. There's a lot of shells on the beach. A lot of them down here. I just want to take a quick walk and see if I find anything out here. It's kind of late. Kind of late to be doing some shelling. But you never know. There's always that possibility somebody missed something. Yesterday we found a lot of nice worm shells out here. Hey Kelly, how you doing? Good, you find anything good out here? I went to try to find the big shell that was in the root, but I, I think the tree fell. It, I think it, bar it got buried. Yeah. Oh, it was know. it was pretty it was huge. Unfortunately, I'm finding a lot of garbage. Oh, garbage. Well, thank you for picking that up. Oh, I have to <laughs> find this bag on my way. <laughs> well, this perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your walk. Yep. Yep. Oh, there's a little fighting conch shell down here. The little Florida, old worn Florida fighting conch. There's a piece of a pear whelk down there. An old pear whelk. Just the inside of it. The twisty, the stem. How cute. A little baby turkey wing shell. A little baby turkey wing shell. Boy, a lot of debris right now on the beach here. See all this brown stuff? It's like it's old decayed trees, wood. Something's gonna hurt you. Just little chunks of wood, old trees, decayed trees. It's probably come up from this dredging. It's been stirred up from this dredging in the past. But that's what this dark stuff is, if you're wondering what all this dark stuff is on the beach. Nothing that's gonna, it's nothing that's gonna hurt you. Just doesn't look very nice. You can see how dark the water is here. I mean, it's just black with this stuff but it's just decayed wood. Weird, huh? Oh my Lord, a mountain of seashells here. A mountain all along here of seashells. Good, gugga mugga. <laughs> There is a pile of shells there, and it's pretty deep. I mean, you could, this is the kind of stuff you want to take some time digging in. Oh, look at that. A little tiny baby lightning whelk. Look how small that is. That's just one little thing here. There's a piece of a worm shell. A lot of shells washed up here last night and they're all buried underneath these pieces of wood oh my gosh I 
I can't imagine what is in here. Look at this. Those are those little shells. Pretty cool, though. This is amazing. Piece of a moon shell. There's a nice worm shell. Nice worm tip. Oh, I wish I had a look some time to spend out here this morning this line this pile of shells goes on for a pretty good ways nice cockle shell oh. darn it Another piece of a moon shell, a shark eye. I'll bet you there's a bunch of them buried in here. Scott and Linda, you need to get out here. Some great shelling out here, I'm sure. Nice little, nice pretty little, a little scallop shell. Now we just lost the sun. Wow. I wish I had time to dig through all of these. Look at this. It's just a pile, big pile of shells. Walk down and see if there's just anything sitting on the top that catches my eye real quick. It's very exciting about the sea turtle up on the beach this morning. Hopefully I'll get to share some video of that sea turtle came up while the sun was up after the sun rose this morning that's very unusual one of our park rangers got some video of it hopefully he'll post that later two successful crawls last night two more nests so i believe we're up to 16 nests on the beach now ton of shells here that's all I can say if somebody's wanting to do some shelling right now is a good time right here at the north end of area four there's a mountain of shells to go through gonna have to do some digging oh here's a big old horseshoe crab Uh, this is just the exoskeleton of one, I believe. I don't think it's a dead one. They shed their shells. That's a pretty good size one, a horseshoe crab. How's everybody's Monday morning going? Everybody getting off to a good start today?
kind of hard to see the shells. Here's some, get some seagrass here. The shells are just all tangled up in the seagrass up here. But I mean, there is a, a lot of shells here this morning. I guess we had a pretty good onshore breeze yesterday. The waves washed a lot of shells up on the beach. Another horseshoe crab up here. The old horseshoe crab. Pretty interesting creatures. That tail, it looks like they use it for defense, self-defense, but it's really the main purpose of that tail is they use it to flip themselves over if they get flipped upside down. They use that pointy tail there to upright themselves. That's the head there. The horseshoe crab. Nice breezy morning out here. Boy, it looks like the shells go all the way up the beach here. Another horseshoe crab here on the beach. Third horseshoe crab we've seen this morning. Uh, in just a little short stretch in area four. Well, I'm gonna turn around. I'm not I don't have a lot of time this morning. I'm gonna walk back down go south for a little bit. All shells buried along here. Just a big line of shells. Lots of them too. There's that horseshoe crab again, one of them. Interesting animals. You should Google horseshoe crabs. Nat Geo, National, the National Geographic Channel has a whole little segment devoted to horseshoe crabs. Pretty interesting. Boy, oh boy. Trying to check out these shells as I'm walking along. Nothing's just jumping out at me, but I know there's tons of great stuff down here. really hard to see it. See the shells are all tangled up in this seagrass right here. But I'm 
sure there's some great, great stuff down here. You can hear them crunching under my feet as I'm walking along. There's so many shells. Nice little cockle shell over there. Little baby cockle shell. Seeing lots of, lots and lots of kitten paws out here. Jewel boxes. Another horseshoe crab back there. Wow. Beautiful morning here. The north end of Area 4 is where you want to come this morning if you want to find some shells. I mean, this is just a huge pile of shells here. Huge. You're going to have to come and you know, stoop over and do some digging, but I think it's going to be worth your time here this morning. Some crazy things out here. <laughs> Yeah, a little gray kitten paw. Kitten's paw. This is just a huge pile of shells there. Huge. The tide is still going out, so it's good timing if you head on out here now. Wow. I know there's some moon shells down here. I can feel it. Oh, son of a gun. There's one right there, a little one. I mean, there's, I'm sure there's a lot of these moon shells down here. I've seen a lot of broken ones. Patience is definitely going to be a virtue this morning when you come out here. But I think it's going to be well worth the time you spend out here this morning. I'm seeing. There's another little moon. That one's missing the eye. Huh. The eye is missing on that moon shell, on that shark eye. Interesting. worm tips out here. A lot of worm tips in this pile. Morning, Dave. Hey, good morning. How are you doing? Very good. Very good. Beautiful today. Beautiful, isn't it? Oh, my God. Lots of nice stuff out here this morning. Lots of great shells. 
Oh, good. Then I find that sound. There you go. Why is it so dirty? That's the pumping, right? Yeah. This is all from dead dead trees, you know, that have settled to the bottom. Yeah. And it's just little pieces that it's stirring up yeah, and pumping ahead. out. It'll go away. Oh, I know. They go away there. But it's just ugly. It's ugly because I remember that the winter time was never like no. that. No. It's because of the dredging. Yeah, I, I mean, see. it's not, it's not, it's not yeah, going to hurt. They come in very bad water over there, I can see. Oh, it's good. Oh, yeah. High, you know. Yeah. All okay, right. Thank you very All much. right. Have a good day. Good luck. If you enjoy these little beach walks, be sure to tell your friends. If you want to make a little contribution, it always helps out. I don't get paid to come out here doing this. I do invest a lot of time. It's not just the beach walks, it's afterwards when I post the pictures and the videos. So every little bit helps. If you want to make a little contribution, I appreciate it. it helps pay the phone bill find my PayPal account information a little later in the description of this post when the live feed ends. Boy, beautiful little worm shell this morning. Great little worm shell. Nice little moon shell. Found a little tiny baby whelk. That is really cool. Two new sea turtle nests on the beach. That's good news. One of those loggerheads came ashore early this morning while this, after the sun came up. I believe our park ranger is going to be able to share some video of that. And when he does, I'll be sure to share it here on Southwest Florida Television. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the source of all the debris here on the beach. They're just dredging Wiggins Pass and pumping the sand all the way down to the beach here in Area 4. There's the barge pumping it out. Got a whole new sandbar out there. See that out there? It's just off of Area 4. That's all new, that sandbar out there. Sand and water being pumped out of Wiggins Pass over the north end of the park. Amazing how far they can pump that. talk to Roy. Maybe get a, a couple words of wisdom out of him here this morning. Boy, you are getting a bag full of trash. It is horrible. <laughs> Look at all the trash. Kelly helping out here, picking up some trash on the beach. Oh, you didn't get very far with your setup. I don't blame you. <laughs> that was very fun. Yep. So you got a hug from her, I presume. Oh, yeah. That was wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Can't miss out on those opportunities. Nope. Get those hugs whenever you can. That was your advice yesterday. Start your day with a hug. Yeah. It worked out <laughs> great, all right. Yep. 
So how's everything going for you? Good, good. Busy, busy. Oh, well, that's wonderful. Yeah. Trying to trying to get my schedule straightened out here. <laughs> got a lot of things I got to just get scheduled. Well, I'm glad prioritize. You're able to, glad you're able to come down here in the morning. It's always yeah, glad it was, to see you. This was kind of spur of the moment. I just one of my riders didn't show up this morning, so I said, "Yeah, I'll run down the beach quick." Wonderful. Before I have to pick somebody else up. Here I am with Roy and his wisdom, his infinite wisdom. <laughs> I don't know about anything about that. Oh yeah, you've always <laughs> got something good for us. I mean, whether it's positive thinking, praying, hugging, loving, you got per it all. Persevering. For, persevering. <laughs> you've got it all for us, I'll tell you what. You've got it together. Peacefulness. Peacefulness, absolutely. I remember we had all the peas the other day. All the peas, yeah. Peacefulness and prayer and positive thinking. Yeah. Perseverance and <laughs> impecunious. Impecunious. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah. So you're you're really close now with the book, I presume, huh? Well, it's getting there. I'm going to see Sandy again this morning, and oh, this she's morning? Finish, okay. finishing up on the typing. So Great. yesterday too, and. Uh, so she's doing a good job on it, and then, uh, and you know, I, I learned a new or heard a new thing. There was a gentleman on the beach, Dave, and uh, he's a school teacher, and he's going to be writing a book. And uh, he was chatting with me about uh, uh, putting the book online so people can buy it. Right, on, that's online. what I told you before this all started. I oh, told you you didn't need to do this publishing and all that. That's, that's right. You did mention that. So, it's nothing but, new. But I'm gonna, so I'm gonna try to get that set up after I get the book. Well, uh, you're not dealing with a publisher, are you? You're just dealing with no, a printing company. Yeah, right. Right. But this online is a whole different thing, where right. they, they, uh, like Amazon, he mentioned. There's right. a half a dozen. Well, you don't want to do Amazon. Well, there's a lot of them. Yeah. 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 Where they they take a percentage and they they put it out to their whole big yep. uh, uh, public, and they can people can buy it from them yep. and the money is just transferred around into my yep. bank account and they take a percentage. Yep. There's no printing involved. Yeah, so that's an interesting concept. Yep. That's the whole email that I sent you, that company that does that, it's, they just get a percentage. Yeah. It costs you nothing then. You just re Yeah, you sent me product. an email with the names of different ones, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of them out there. And that it's... um. I mean, it's a lot cheaper than printing it. Of but course, that you don't. isn't publishing because the publishers I talked to that was a whole different. No, you don't need cats. a publisher. Well, they then they they wanted an upfront big payment of a couple grand, and then right. and then I'd lose the ownership of right. the book too. Right. It's and not they, your book. And they only give me a small percentage when they sell it. But this other thing is different from publishing. Right. Then. It's a I don't know what you call it, online sales or something. Yeah, it's just on demand printing. Yeah. Yeah. Just whenever it's they really don't print copies it's just no. all online isn't that interesting yep and then so. the next thing you do is you sit down with me and you read it and then we have it all on audio they hey, they I call that an audio book oh really yep and then people can hear you reading reading your book oh, to that'd them. be wonderful i'd love to do that yep oh great yep <laughs> there you know for the people that, are, that can't can't see very well and or people that are riding in their car, if they want to listen to it, that's very popular now, audiobooks. No kidding. Well, yeah, I can get audiobooks from the library, actually. Yeah. So we, yeah, we can do can that same it. thing once you get it all done. Well, you wonderful. You just sit down and read it. Oh, I appreciate that. Yeah. Uh -huh. And you just make more money off it. Well, and how, do, <laughs> how do they pay you for audiobooks? The same as they do with the online book. When people download it and listen to it, you get be paid. Done. Yeah. They control how you download it. It's amazing. Yep. Well, this downloading is something I'm going to have to get uh, involved with and get knowledgeable about. Yeah. Because that's where it's all about, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. The downloading. Yeah. Everybody does their shopping on the internet now. They don't go to the store. Whole different world, isn't it? Yeah. But I mean, you need to print out some copies now. Just get some printed. Well, I'm going to get the bunch to get the original ones out. I want to sell them, send some out to people. Absolutely. I've got, I've got I mean, that's people. still a good way to do it. Yeah. Gives them something, a hard copy in their hand. Yeah. 
so they got a so, gift or whatever. But yeah, no, there's lots of options. So That'd you, great. yeah, I'll have to dig in my files and see if I can find that. If I don't, you could send me again. Uh, the, yeah, Sandy oh. can. When Sandy's there, it's just one little Google search, and they all pop up. Oh, there's, yeah. What do you call them? Though? They aren't publishers, are they? No. On demand books, but on demand. On demand books. Yeah. When somebody wants it, they just order a so copy. These it, are companies are called on demand yeah. companies. And Amazon, Amazon is a big one. You know, they all Barnes and Noble, like, yeah, great ways to to move your product. Apparently, this gentleman said that uh, Amazon was the biggest. Yeah, they are big. Amazon is big for sure. Well, you think they'd be good to start with, wouldn't they? Yep. You just got to look into what they need for their, you know, what the specifications are. Okay. Yeah. On demand books. Okay, I'll have to try to get knowledge. I think about that's that. a. I think that's a good project for Jennifer Ann. She's she's over at your place a lot. Give her something to do there on the computer. Well, she, she she can show you how to computer. She's yeah. good on that thing. She can show you how to do that stuff. She's always fiddling with her little uh, smartphone thing and comes yep. up with about everything on that. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. She can help you out. I'm sure. Yeah. Good. All right. Nope, a lot of good things here, Roy. Can't wait. Wonderful. To, can't thing. wait to read it. Well, it's exciting. This whole uh, digital thing is yep. is uh, new to me, and it's quite exciting. It's a whole new world. Isn't it's it? a digital age. Yeah, <laughs> it's a new world. It is a new world, and I, I'm still I, learning new tricks. Yeah, I want to try to become knowledgeable in it. Yeah, it's a whole new thing to learn. It's like going back to college. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Yeah, trying to get my PhD in digital. <laughs> <laughs> but they can still order a hard copy of the book by sending you a check and all that. Yeah, that's 20 worth. bucks. <laughs> 20 bucks. 20 bucks work. to Roy Hazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so that that works, and I'll have uh, I'll have a bunch of copies printed up and send them out. Perfect. And then that the other book I did out in California, I'll include that, and if I run out, I'll have to get that reprinted you still have it oh the yeah files for that yeah oh great well i got some leftover from artwork in it cartoons and so it's an interesting world nice it is an interesting world yeah. <laughs> somebody was trying to text message me here while i was talking to you interrupting our conversation goodness oh here comes your friend up the chair oh the one from switzerland switzerland yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is an international uh, hangout here. Well, Ben and Monica from Switzerland. I haven't seen them for a while, but they they come and go too. They're world travelers, right? So I was, I brought their name down and gave it to him to see if he knew them. But no, his uh, wife was in the insurance business, and they've got an insurance company over in Zurich. Oh, okay. <laughs> But you know, with this new book thing, that'll be world, world wide. That'll be yep, interesting. Of course. I, in fact, I asked him if they got an interpreter when it goes over to to uh, Russia or something. It speak, speaks Russian. Uh huh. And he said actually there is the computer will will uh, translate. Will yep. translate. Isn't that yep. amazing? You yep. can plug in Spanish or whatever you want, and they'll translate. The computer will translate the book for you. Crazy world we live in. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's thrilling, interesting. It is amazing. Yeah, yeah that's just uh, unbelievable. Well, what you're doing right this very instant is, is it part is. of this. I'm sure um, we have somebody that doesn't live in Florida watching us right now. <laughs> maybe, maybe eventually that'll work for out of this planet. It won't be only, only just universal. It'll be uh, uh, sure uh, other planets out uh, of our galaxy. Yeah, out of our ga universe. Galaxial universal. Yeah, <laughs> galaxy universal. <laughs> yep. You'll have to get it translated into Martianese or something. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Uh, yeah. Out of this world. That's right. We got to get a Martian translator when they <laughs> when they land. <laughs> uh, oh, here's somebody. Linda in Scotland says good morning. Hi, Linda. <laughs> How's everything in jolly old Scotland? North Carolina. Yeah, we got people from all around here watching oh, already this wonderful. morning. That's wonderful. You know what? Here, say hi to them. Take the phone. Can you see it? Can you see the screen there? Well, kind of, yeah. Yeah. Oh, hi there, Sandy. 
Can Candy, hi from o Ontario. There you go. Kathy is watching. Hi, Kathy. That is my daughter's name. Hi, Doris. How are you doing? Thanks for sharing. Well, isn't she sweet? Thanks, Doris. And Tammy from Northern Michigan. I went to school in Ann Arbor. Ha, ha, ha. Emily, looking forward to our lunch date tomorrow. Roy, oh, Emily, good show. Going to lunch with Emily? I guess so. It looks that way. I oh, didn't nice. know who it was going to be. Peggy, uh, Gail, good morning, Roy. Hi, Gail, Tammy. Had bears in my whoop. I didn't, it, couldn't see it. Good morning, Roy. Hi, Linda. Every Enjoying every day, that's for sure. Linda, hey, Roy, you handsome boy. Oh, well, aren't you sweet? <laughs> Tammy, hi, Roy. Hi, Tammy. Charlene, hi, hi, Charlene. Candy, what is the name of your book? Well, it's uh, uh, How I Live to Be Almost 100, uh, Healthy and Happy. <laughs> Sandy Smith, hi, Roy. Jennifer Ann, hi, Roy. How you doing? Doing great, Jenny. Hey. Patty Pegg, happy morning, Roy. Happy to you, Patty. Claudia, hi, Roy. Joshua, <laughs> GM from Peachtree City. Oh, Georgia, my gosh. You are just, look at that, all those people out there watching. Wonderful, bless them all. Yep, bless them all. And it just goes on and on and on. That's wonderful. <laughs> it's a digital world, like you said. Yeah. The digital age is upon us. <laughs> All right, well, what time is it? I got to probably get moseying on here. Well, it looks like 8.43. Yep, I'm getting close there. I'm going to walk down the beach a little further. I wanted to come out and say hi. I want well, to see I if really, I could... I really appreciate that. See where that turtle came on the beach last night? I don't know. It's probably way down there somewhere. Always a pleasure seeing you, everybody. Always a pleasure seeing you. Everybody it's a, enjoys seeing you. Well, I don't know about Big that, face. I enjoy <laughs> all their good comments. They're all really sweet people. They are. God bless them, huh? Bless them, that's for sure. That's right. All right, Roy. Bless everybody. We'll see if you can, we'll leave you alone so you can get your chair set up. Oh, don't worry about that. I'd rather have your companionship. All right. Well, you have a wonderful day. You too. Maybe I'll see you again tomorrow. You never know. Look forward to that. All right, Roy. God bless. Have a wonderful day. See you later. Our good friend Roy. Beautiful. Monday morning here in paradise. Looks like a big piece of worm rock over here on the beach. Yeah, look at that. That's a great piece of worm rock. Look at that. Look at all the little worm tubes in there. Awesome piece of worm rock. That is really nice. That is a great little specimen there. Now let's mosey down the beach a little further. See you later. Maybe we'll get lucky and find another shell or two. Beautiful, beautiful out here. Good morning. Boy, I saw lots of little kittens paws out here this morning. Lots and lots of them. There's a nice little white one. Find them in all different colors. There's a nice little white kitten's paw. There's the top of a little, little tiny baby moon shell, a little baby shark eye shell, just the top of it. Wow. Here's a nice little kitten's paw here. Got some nice color in it. Just tuning in, we're up in North Naples, North Naples, Florida, at Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. I'm in what's known as Area 4. There's five beaches in the park, five parking lots. I'm in the middle of number four right now. Looking south. So 
lots and lots of shells earlier this morning, just piles of them on the beach. It's going to be a great morning for shelling. The tide's still on its way out. We had two loggerhead sea turtle nests. Uh, loggerhead sea turtles nest last night, successful crawls, they laid some eggs. One of them actually came up after the sun rose this morning, which is extremely unusual. And I believe one of our park rangers, or actually the assistant manager here, he got some video of it. I'm hoping I can share that later. That's going to be neat to see that loggerhead sea turtle in the daylight on the beach. It's very, very unusual. Here's a little sea star washed up on the beach. Sad. What's left of a little five-armed sea star. You know, it might come back if I put it back in the water, so I'll do that. I'll put her back in the water. It's right over here on the edge. It might come back, the little five-arm. There's something else over there I want to show you. I just noticed when I picked up that sea star. Where did I pick up that sea star from? There was a little sand dollar over here. I should have grabbed it while I was here. I saw a little sand dollar. Now I can't find it. Darn it. That's what happens here. You see something and as soon as you turn away, you lose sight of it. It's right down here somewhere. A little gray sand dollar. And now I don't see it. Son of a gun. Where was that sea star? Where did I pick it up from? It was right here in some of this seaweed, buried in the seaweed. It's amazing how things disappear. There it is. It's a little sea star, it's dead, or sand dollar, it's dead. But that's a sand dollar. Find some pretty big ones here, that's a small one. Very, very fragile. You're gonna have to be really careful with that. What else? Anything else down here? Another little sand dollar. Very nice. Two little sand dollars. Just leave them out in the sun and they'll turn white. They'll bleach themselves white. We have a lot of live sand dollars just offshore here. Please don't take any live sand dollars. morning out here. Look at that sky. Beautiful blue sky. This is all new, this sandbar out here. See where these people are standing out here? That's all new. You can see the barge out in the background pumping the sand.
What a beautiful morning. Sun shining bright. I got two fragile sand dollars in my hands. Kind of limits me to picking other things up here. I'm gonna go sit them with somebody on the beach real quick. I've only got about 10 more minutes before I have to leave here. But I'm gonna set these sand dollars with the person over here on the beach. Hopefully I'll remember to pick them up on the way out. This is my favorite little boardwalk right there, right in the middle of four. Hey, Ann, can I sit something over here by you while I'm walking on the beach? Just a couple little oh, sand dollars. Put them right there. Okay, They're, they'll break, they're so oh, fragile. Oh, sure. I'll get them on my way back, <laughs> all right. Kind of like a little family here on the beach. Everybody gets to know each other. Beautiful, beautiful weather here. Absolutely incredible. Love to walk out onto that sandbar, but I got I don't have my bathing suit on this morning. I'm sure, there's lots of neat stuff out there. Another day in paradise, that's for sure. Hey, be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Nobody pays me to come out and do these beach walks. I love doing it. I love sharing this little piece of paradise with everybody. But just like you, I got bills to pay. One being this phone bill. If you want to make a little contribution, it's always appreciated. You can find my PayPal account info in the description of this post a little later. Hell, I can fly him by. That sky, is that not gorgeous? Big difference in the water when we get south of that darn barge, the dredging barge up here. The water gets a lot nicer to the south of it. Beautiful out here, absolutely gorgeous. one of our sea turtle nests up where that gentleman was standing up there. We've got 16 nests on the beach right now. 16 of these loggerhead sea turtle nests. Hopefully I'm going to be able to share some interesting video from this morning of one of them up. Somebody interrupting here with a phone call. This is sea turtle nest, loggerhead sea turtle nest, number four. Four of 16 right now. See, these are protected by law. You don't want to tamper with these nests, the hatchlings, the eggs, the adults when they're nesting. Definitely against the law. But after we have what's called a crawl, when the sea turtle comes up on the beach and nests, our rangers here at the park, they actually verify that there are eggs in the nest. So def this is definitely an active nest. There are eggs in there. Then they'll mark it. They call this caging. They put this metal cage above the nest. 
as a deterrent. To Somebody keeps calling me and it's really ticking me off there. So they put this cage up to keep raccoons, crabs, other predators that might get at the eggs, keep them out. And you'll see these all over the beaches of Florida. What a gorgeous day today. middle of Area 4 Beach at Del Norwegans Pass State Park, North Naples, Florida. Gorgeous. Well, it was kind of a short beach walk this morning. I've got other things I got to take care of. I got out here a little late this morning, but I appreciate everybody tuning in. I hope you had a good time. Always make sure you introduce yourself to the group when you're watching here. Let everybody know where you're watching from. Take some time to check out all of my photos and videos. Some great stuff there. When you find something you like, hit the like button and hit the share button. Naples, Florida, paradise. Again, thanks for watching. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.